Hello folks and welcome to Killer Frequency, the radio show host horror game where we'll be helping callers escape from a killer in the 80s just to make things even more slasherific. Um, I think I played a demo or like early prototype version of this years back. So I got excited when I saw this was coming out and uh, this game was actually gifted to me by my friend Pony Dukes. So thanks buddy. Let's, uh, let's see what we're getting into. Apparently this is like a bit of a long haul game, so let's see what happens. New game. Oh, okay. We're moving. I guess we're headed to work. Oh, a bottle. Uh, object interaction. You can hold two objects, swap objects, enhance with... Okay. Drop objects or throw objects. Hold to place objects. Release them in a valid location. Oh, okay, and then I can drop or I can throw. Okay. Well, look at me go. I just learned a thing. Ooh. This alley is uh, somewhat on the spooky side, isn't it? What's this? Oh. Oh. That doesn't seem to be doing anything, so... I guess this is not where I'm supposed to go. Moving on. Ooh. Who's whistling? Press E to begin inspecting. Hold, mer and move to rotate. Okay. KFAM. Oh, cool. Away it goes. Anything else to see back here? Ooh. Crouch. Ooh. Okay. I can do that too, I guess. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Not there? Not in here? Freight elevator only. That seems like an interesting place to go, though. Can I not go in? Oh, there's no door. Oh. Fair enough. Well, there's no handle. Door handle is what I meant. So. Okay. Let's. Ooh. Little fence. Hmm. Alright. I love the almost comic booky aesthetic to this. This looks really not. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, something just happened that I don't like. What's going on here? Yes. Up. Oh, hi. Up. Oh. <laughs> Hello, sir. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Listen, you seem like a friendly fellow, but I need okay. And we're off. Wow, okay, you, cool. Uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling. Oh, There's a nice studio. I don't know. Uh, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and Feels here like I was Jared. thinking you finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Yeah, cats. probably. You know, four legs, whiskers, Ooh, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But I mean... Killer shot! Does Gallows Creek have a straight cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Why would anyone live anyway, in a place called Gallows Creek? Checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment for each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Oh, no, no, I'll do the pre-flight check. I, uh, I need to know how all this shit works. Alright, fine. Let's get through this. Alrighty, this is your captain speaking. Ugh, Piggy. Really? <laughs> Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. I like Piggy already. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Ugh. Let's start with record playing. Okay. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Okay, what do we have? Easy. David's... Oh, okay, let's see. 1980X, David Scopo. Watch this one. The Flow, Crying for Help. Late night lurkers stab in the twilight. Uh, Forest, you need to grab a record. <laughs> These are kind of worrying, the actually. Table. The word. 
The hang-ups. Okay. I kind of want to hear um, late night lurkers. Let's see what this is. Slap it on there. The record box is on the left, and the record player is on the right. I know, Take shut Take a record up. and stick it on the turntable. Then hit play. Got it. Ooh. Great. Now turn it off. Aw. But I want to listen to this. Fine. All you right. get to have your way. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain Wait, will I... be waiting to take your call on hold line up. one. All right, I'll put it back in, I guess. Uh, line one. What's line one? Oh. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Let me just Who's open a drink Peggy? here, by the way. This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's so Ryan. funny, Peggy. Wow. Great. And button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said... The Peggy button. Press for Peggy. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now, come on. The Peggy button <laughs> is the third one on the phone line. Ooh, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. I labeled it for here. you. So you did. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey Man, now, Peggy, I? I'm actually going to slap you. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. Wait, which one is sound blaster? Hold up, what? Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. This is the sound blaster? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. Oh! All right, we're almost done. It's a soundboard. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Gonna let me actually listen to it this time. Oh, that's a lot of paper. All right. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Yeah, uh, should not encourage you. Clearly. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Is it now, also your fun side that uh, lets you help people After who your get killed? Our first segment is Guess That Scream. Really? I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Ugh, okay. Okay, you're live in three, two... Sure thing. 189.16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening Forrest to Nash. 89.16. Wow, he just the needed screen. to have the mainliest Before name ever. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and. Guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the Are corpse you of a loved one? That's what good. the fuck? Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. What what scream? Hey, so where's what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Okay, what tape? What Forrest, tape? Forrest, you do have the tape, right? What tape? Tell you me which tape it is. This tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Tell me what tape to play! No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. That's true. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Are you serious? <laughs> That's actually an option. I hate what I've become. Really, Peggy? You want, you want me to scream? You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest. Just do it. That's enough dead air already. Oh, yeah. Just That's absolutely true. He has, been, he has been quiet for way too oh, long. Oh, God. Sorry All right. about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, 
and then call in to guess that scream. The pertubed yeti scream, the falling from a cliff screen, or the dr I'm gonna do the pertubed yeti, uh, perturbed yeti, because that sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. What the fuck was Call that, Morris? Your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555 -239 Something tells me he's used to working at a slightly bigger station than this. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Some response. Oh, should I introduce you to the song? Time yes. to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Was it, though? Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Good question, Light man. Up, Boris. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. You lead an exciting life, clearly. I want to explore this office a bit. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Sleep, smile, oh, frog. Boris, there's a call coming Whoop. in. Okay. Time to turn the music off. Line one or line two? Welcome to oh, there we go. 16, the Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. Hello, I'm Leslie. I'm the 911 operator oh. and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh, are you calling to guess that scream? <laughs> Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator... I bet you may have an educated guess. See, that's a good what? joke, though. No! Look, I found a body, and I need your help. Oh. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. Indeed. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline, then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. Oh. I think this is real. Oh, Peggy, damn. I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? Well then, things are uh, escalating here. That's never happened before. So I came to the station and I found him. Oh dear. Oh God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Oh geez. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but And didn't hit shit. Or is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. Oh, God. I called you Wait, right why, after why I wasn't she killed? God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. We have three. <laughs> called it. Anderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Just exploring a little bit. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. Clearly. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? Who do you That's think? That's why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Why me? <laughs> I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. Well, I guess You're that's true. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. 
you ask questions to get information you can use. And if you fuck up, somebody People dies. Talk, you know? <laughs> Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. They sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? Ah, so, so I, I so I did but gather it right. And besides, he was at a different station before. You. Hmm. You can talk to Wonder each what other, happened. Discuss ideas. Work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Well, that's there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. Yeah, no shit. There's got to be another way in. Try to break down the door, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Uh, yeah, the sheriff. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. I mean, surely they have to have more than one key oh, to a cell. Sorry, Sheriff. Oh yeah, that sucks. <laughs> this is gonna be most of the game, by the way, just me listening to people speaking. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if there's like some big gameplay change at some point, but. Good work, Leslie. Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Panicked and unqualified. <laughs> like, I can't handle this all night. I'm quitting KFAM if this is a prank. I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. Yeah, no I've shit. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. It is a Come bit of an on, interesting Martinez. situation, so... There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. What are these papers I want? Oh. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Hmm. Yeah, true. Um, it's the right thing to do. You mean we're gonna be on our own? Just Peggy and me, and no one else, responding to emergency wow, calls. Wow, I suck at this. You'll be fine. You and Peggy just work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh! Fuck, I suck at that. What? We don't what need do no need water. Let fire. the motherfucker burn. How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Ooh. What? No, no way. This can't be. Yay, Forest, I did it. We have big trouble. Sorry, what? What's happening? What's <laughs> I'm that such noise? a dick. It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Uh oh. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? What's right? happening here? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The, the whistling what? man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's he, he can take what a rainbow and sprinkle it with glee. Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Then maybe shut up. Oh, God. Lock the doors. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Okay, we have timed... Responses. I forgot about that. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Okay. Hide in the station. Take a police cruiser. Uh. Man. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any. Uh. I'll just. Of course, now she has to drag her along with yes, her. Why it. didn't Martinez get killed, Keys though? Squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Yep. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But out front but, is... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? Yep. 
The whistling man is right there. Uh. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. Damn it. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. Sure. The sheriff must have a gun, right? I guess can, I fucked that choice it? up. There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Probably. Uh, is there a weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? There must be a weapon lockup in the station, right? In this tiny of a town? I don't know. I saw it earlier, but as you might have guessed, it was locked. But maybe one of these keys I got earlier will help. Oh, I like the music. The music is really good no. here. No. No. Uh, shit. None of the keys work. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. I guess this um, is a situation I uh, let me check can only fuck up so belt. much because this is still tutorial style, I think. Taser. The pepper spray might not work due to the mask, and the baton I mean, requires you swing in your taser, arm. Right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No, I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. I don't like it. Yeah, indeed. Me it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay, Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. I mean, there this is go. a good way to avoid sure having to this, animate Leslie? too much shit, I guess. No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. I like her voice. Yep, I, I like everyone's voices so far, actually. Speak to you soon. Good luck, Leslie. Damn. All right, this That's got real. That's a brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know. So are there gonna be like a million endings depending really on who lives and who I dies? When I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Wow, Piggy, really? <laughs> are you serious? Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. I'm here, Leslie. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. Wise choice. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus. God damn it. Oh, crap. There he is. Back. Taser ready. Leslie, what's happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Taser! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Go! Leslie, you need to go! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. Yeah, just ride. Get the fuck away from this dude. Leslie, are you too okay? Did you get away? <laughs> Look or? at Peggy like, yeah! Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for Hey, you. I saved two. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. Is that so? Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two. Three hours each way? Jesus! Slightly less if I put my foot down. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Please do. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <laughs> she sounds like they just have a cold. <laughs> what the hell? Woof. 
Well, folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. That was actually as intense, sure even safe. though you don't see anything. And Leslie. That's some good voice work. I'm impressed. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. Yes. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. So do I... For now, here's another oh, hit record um, for you all to enjoy. The hang-ups, I guess. Yes. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song. Oh. The Word. Oh, I got the wrong one. This oh, is not what I signed up for, Peggy. Yeah, no shit. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours? At least. This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. Nope. I know. I know. I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Three names. Went that's an important a part. Freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Oof, Creek. That's quite a few, actually. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. And he's come back. What happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. But what's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Hmm. We'll do our best. Guess we'll find out. I yeah. guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. Yeah, to so whoever the fuck is even listening. At this time? I mean, I know this On is the, the 80s. Day, a lot more people listen to the radio, but... Midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No. no 35, 35 people. people. Yeah. <laughs> I guessed it. 35 at best? Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? Well, you know. Welcome to before content my creation, my dude. <laughs> and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big Gas could pump that up to. 10, 15, easy. About 10, 15,000? on the low end? We could only dream of that. What did you Five think, dude? Million. What? Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Sure seems like oh, it. Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. I'm not okay, ready. Forrest, I don't wanna. Shut the music off. What if I don't wanna? Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Oh, hello. <laughs> Sir, do you mind? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Buddy? Do you mind? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? <laughs> you know my name. Wow, you suck, buddy. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. Is that so? <laughs> Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Uh, maybe you must make a sacrifice. A sacrifice? Is that so? A sacrifice? To us. I, I mean, me. Oh. I want cheese dusted pretzels. 
Oh yeah, it's a party. <laughs> I didn't realize what the background wa noise was until now, but this is a party. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. I'll deal with them. We also want a mega call. For anyone just tuning in, we do in fact have an actual killer out in the streets Oh, I tonight. think I didn't do it in time. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Ooh, I immediately like this. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. The hang-up. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. They could at least put no in a little bit of effort. That, that just sucks. Just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. Clearly. We already have another caller on the line. God right. damn. Am I, am I going to get to Let's listen to any record? Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What is all this other shit for? What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I, I I'm plan to. For a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Yep, clearly. Uh, Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car <laughs> Good work. I dropped my key somewhere along the way. Oh shit. I never locked the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Okay, can you go back and find your keys? Nope, bad idea. Sounds like you lost them. I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you Is can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Well, I'm not going back out there. I Oh, here he comes. Neither do I. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to help me. Wait, 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 I don't. Uh, if it helps, I've got a toolkit buried beneath my spare sweatbands. <laughs> I'll be back when I find it. Oh, crap. Um, do we have anything about cars? 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash. Your friendly neighborhood radio host. Mechanic and savior. Hooray. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes um, out to you, Sandra. I just keep playing it. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Don't really? care. They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked Don't about care. It once, and they got really Give me something about cars. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Okay. Ooh. Wow, I kind of want to explore this place. There's a lot of stuff to see. Okay. Um, megabytes. Vertigo. Ooh. From below it came. None of these are about... Damn, some of this looks cool, though. Don't care about the top hits. Okay, what's this over here? That's... what? What is this? Nope. Okay, fair enough. I guess... I guess that's Peggy's room. Bathrooms. Anything else you see in here? Oh, hello. This looks useful. Oh! Hello. I didn't realize... Huh. Wow. I, I thought... Scream. I thought I was going to have to go to the office. I just found Gallows Reporter 2820. Hold on. So many locked doors, so few keys. Indeed. 
these are the offices. Um, but it looks like I have what I need, man. Oh, there's a tape here. I guess I can pick that up later. Hello. Hold on. Oh, that's completely indecipherable. What does that music mean? Anyway, we have this. Um, <clears throat> let's go back. Let's go back and help out Sandra, if she's still alive. So there's been a lot of time on this. Okay, Sandra, I hope you're with me. Can I prop it up there? Yes, I can. You find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Collar on line one. Thanks, yeah. Peggy. Okay, does she have a screwdriver? We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. All right. How do we start this baby? Uh, put the screwdriver in the ignition. Uh, yes. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. Of course it is. What next? Uh, unscrew the steering column. Unscrew the steering column. Hit the steering wheel with a hammer. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Oh, God. How long are these screws? Too long from okay. the looks of it. Covers off. Okay. There's a bunch of wires down here all paired up. And oh, God, my heart is pumping. If there's a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five... You're doing great. Tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Okay. What's the serial number on What's the steering the column? What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. 576-894-320. Uh, if there's a six anywhere and it doesn't start with a five, okay. If there's a zero at the end and a three doesn't come before a six, there is no three. And it doesn't come, there is a three, but it doesn't come before a six. So red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Okay, enough with the jazzercise, lady. Uh, strip the purple wire and twist onto the exposed cable. Do not touch the live wire. Um, strip the pink wire and strip the purple wire and brush it against the... Wait. Yes. Yes. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... Oh. Thank you, thank you, Peggy. I'm glad you're safe, Sandra, but please lay off the jazz. <laughs> Sorry, Forrest. My life is my own. Well, she is very yeah. chipper for just having I'm a paper killer. To be me. I'm happy for you too, Sandra. Oh, thanks, Peggy. Well, come on, Forrest. Just have fun with it. Have fun I with it. We're dealing with a killer. Part of anyone's personality. That's all. Forrest. Ah, oh, don't worry about him, baby. He'll learn one day. Anyway. Well, she seems like a fun lady. <laughs> we did it, Forrest! Woo! Saved her! Sure did. Here comes another hit track that oh. we're ja excited to share with you. Nice. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.6. Wow, you don't Monday miss a beat, do you, Peggy? Five. Take it away, Forrest. God damn, all right. Yes. It's funky, it's groovy, it's stabbing the Twilight by Knife and Easy. Would you fucking pick some better songs, dude? I still dude? can't this believe is... this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Huh? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Wow. Really? Okay. Easy, buddy. Miserable? It's a sad place on Earth. 
Peggy, be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistle. Wow, guy Forrest, for easy. Making things interesting. Well, I like it here. People are polite. I don't like my small town either, but uh, chill the fuck out, buddy. Ask backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. You don't notice the stink? I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible. After a while. Wow. Not how sympathetic. Terrible after a while? <laughs> High praise coming from Forrest Nash. Remind me, Forrest, you which one of us got mean, fired? I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Nah, he's got and like six hours to play, so. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, no chance. that'd probably be a good idea. Whew, okay, this is interesting. This is actually fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this.